Seismic activity is concentrated along fault lines, areas of fracture in the Earth's crust, generally found near ridges or tectonic plate boundaries. Constantly in motion, these huge plates sometimes collide, forcing one beneath the other. The resulting friction creates energy along the fault lines, which eventually become unstable and rupture, sending out a shock wave. The energy released is felt as an earthquake. After the initial jolt, aftershocks can strike as neighboring plates readjust into place. Most underground movement goes unnoticed by human beings, but occasionally a big tremor strikes. Among the world's most active seismic zones, Asia, Turkey and Afghanistan, Northern Africa and the Americas. The moment magnitude scale rates energy release during an earthquake, it was devised to measure large tremors more accurately than the older Richter scale. In theory, there's no limit, but never has an earthquake measured more than the 9.5 magnitude recorded in Chile in 1960. The European macro seismic scale, meanwhile, rates intensity, in other words, possible consequences. There are 12 levels. One indicates the earthquake cannot be felt, while 12 indicates a total change in landscape. When a big quake strikes, the scale acts as a warning against other natural phenomena which could be triggered, such as landslides, avalanches, or tsunamis. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.